Hey guys, Brendan here with Exotic Diecast, and I thought I'd make another customization video. Uh, since I have two Bugatti Chirons, one in red and one in blue, this red one I really like with the red and black accenting, and as you can tell it has these uh, chrome wheels, which I kind of liked, uh, because it kind of matched the silver outline here. Uh, usually I just paint my wheels uh, black, I don't really like chrome, but I kind of liked on this one, but because I have two, uh, I'll keep the one on the blue Chiron, I'll keep those chrome, and with this red and black accenting, it might look good to have gloss black wheels on this Chiron, so uh, anyway, I thought that's what we'll, we'll go ahead and do it, and, and this being a Brago, it should disassemble like the other ones I've done, so I just look on the bottom here, I see one screw here, and then two here. So we'll just go ahead and unscrew those. All right, and with the three screws off to the side here, we can just go ahead and open the doors to make the access a little easier. And then it should just pull out like that. So it looks like it's gonna pull out nicely. The only thing that's getting caught is, as usual, the steering. So we can just go ahead and we actually just end up taking the whole dash off. So we can just disconnect that in the steering wheel. There we go, and we can just slip the dash right back in where it goes, just like that. And, in fact, we'll just take the steering out of the column there, get rid of that. So, so far it looks like a normal Brago model here, so uh, we'll just have to probably take off the full, like, engine and, and interior, which should just be held by a couple of pins. So we'll just go ahead and start prying off. There's the engine, and then the interior. Is just held by a couple of pins. There we go. Those two pins right here. And so just remember where that goes. So when we're assembling it, just the interior first, then the engine. So with that though, we could just put that off to the side uh, with the steering as well. And then the back wheel should just slip off just like that. Uh, just make note of which direction the brake calipers were pointing. In fact, I kind of forgot on this one, it kind of popped out. I'll just check on my blue one, but that way you just remember where to put the brake calipers, either facing forward or back. Uh, but I'll just double check with the blue one. And then obviously the front just lifts out the same. Remember that the hole for the steering column go on the left side or whatever yours is. Uh, and then also the brake calipers on this one were definitely pointing towards the center of the car. Now we can put all that to the side. Now we have our axles. And this should be pretty easy. Obviously you can remember which ones uh, front and back. The thicker tires are the back. And then obviously the ones with the steering are the front. And they're also thinner. But if it's like all the Bragos, then you could just take a screwdriver, put it in this hole right here where the axle would be. And then you can uh, just grip the screwdriver to give you a little bit more leverage and just pull it off. And that was easy enough. I just kind of pulled off like this. And there is one of our front tires. And just make sure that brake disc pops right back in so it could spin freely. Do it with the other side here. All right, and with the wheels removed, obviously we just go ahead and remove the tire from the wheel. So we just go ahead and pry it out. That's cool that the full wheel is actually curling on these as well. Uh, but anyway, and again, it's gonna be easy to remember which one's the front and back uh, because just the different width of them. So very easy, just put the tires away. We're done with those until we uh, need to put them back. And then here are the separated wheels. Oops, so, <laughs> kind of confused there. But yeah, separated wheels there. So what we're gonna do is uh, go outside, paint them. We're gonna put them face down first, hit them with two coats. That way when we flip it back up, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how the face gets because if we were to do face, then the back, uh, then when we flip it back over, the front might be kind of chipped up. If the back's chipped up, I don't really care because it's facing towards the car. So yeah, we're just gonna put them facing down first. About two coats with like five to 10 minutes in between for drying, then face them back up. Uh, and then do about two to three coats or however long or however many we need until it looks good. So we'll just go ahead and spray paint those now. All right, so we let these uh, wheels dry after painting. And so now we are just gonna go ahead and slip the tires over the wheels. So it's just easiest to go from this way right here. And then you just fit it from all the sides. All right, once we have all the tires back on the wheels, then we can just go ahead and get the back axle, the one that doesn't flex in the steer, get the thicker tires and put them over it like this. And just like how we attached or uh, detached it, we're just gonna go ahead and put the screwdriver here and then force it back down. All right, so now once we attach the wheels to the axles, we go ahead and get the front axle and just remember which way the steering is. So it's gonna be on the left-hand side here and the brake calipers face towards the center of the car. 
So in that case, we'll just place it like this. And just make sure that the pins go through the holes on the axle there. And then there we are. And then the rear ones, the brake calipers also face towards the center. So just remember that as we put these right on in, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and put the interior back just where the pens are. So we'll just go ahead and put it right on in there and just kind of clip it in. And then after that, we put the engine back in, just kind of look at where that would line up. Looks like these holes would go where the pins on the axles are. All right, so once the whole interior like this is assembled, we can go ahead and attach the steering. Uh, just make sure that the bottom flat is down and you just kind of put it through that pin there. And then there you go. So now the steering should work just like that. And then now we're just going to go ahead and open the doors, make things a little bit easier. And then we're just going to go ahead and plop this down. Once you have it in place, just keep it upside down just to keep it there. And then go ahead and drop your screws into place. And you can just start tightening down. All right, so once all the screws are in, there it is. So just go ahead and make sure the steering's still working, everything's still good, and uh, there you go. Black wheels actually suit it pretty well. It's kind of nice to uh, see it all finished up. Everything still runs nicely, so that's very cool. Um, I like the red and black with the black wheels now. I was worried about how that would look, but let I me mean, what you guys think. I kind of like it. And then we could go ahead and raise this rear wing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, anyway. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.